It would be the trip of a lifetime, one you surely could not survive, through a point in space in which time has no meaning, and even the fastest particles cannot escape. You are of course traveling into a black hole. For this journey, one assumption needs to be made. You are merely an observer, not a physical being falling into the black hole, meaning the effects of gravity and energy do not interrupt your observation. With this unrealistic foundation set into place, let's take a look at what the inside of a black hole really looks like. Starting off, the approach would be quite beautiful. Although considered dark, space is dotted with colorful faraway worlds that seem to infinitely illuminate space around you. Except for, of course, the ominous pitch black sphere that is your destination. The sphere can be considered a waterfall of light. The edge of this waterfall, where light cannot even escape, is crisp and defined only by the warping of light behind it. As you accelerate toward the event horizon, you pass through the photon sphere. In this region, the photons reflecting off your body begin to orbit the black hole. When they make a complete orbit, they return back to your eyes, allowing you to see the back of your head. The closer you approach, the more distorted space appears behind you, until it appears as if you were standing at a window to the universe. By this time, of course, you have been accelerated to a meaningful fraction of the speed of light, but this is only the beginning. As Charles Liu of the American Museum of Natural History's Hayden Planetarium describes it, the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. The farther you travel into the black hole, the greater effect time dilation will have on you. Your time will tick so slowly that if you were to look behind Behind you, you would see everything that will ever fall into the black hole behind you. Similarly, in front of you, objects experience higher time dilation, meaning you can see everything that has since fallen into it in the past. As Charles Liu stated, you'll get to see the entire history of that spot in the universe simultaneously, from the Big Bang all the way through the distant future. This is short-lived, however, as the event horizon begins to surround you, until only a tiny point of light behind gets blue-shifted through the ultraviolet spectrum and becomes invisible. At this point, however, your eyes will see no more. This is when things get incredibly interesting, or incredibly dark, since matter is stretched and pulverized into their fundamental building blocks. The properties of atoms that give them texture, shape, structure, and color are completely thrown out the window. The quarks and gluons are compressed in position space and expand proportionally in momentum space, with all paths pointing toward the singularity. There are no properties that can describe what this would look like, because the properties we attribute to things exist in our space-time, but not in the space-time of the singularity. It's better to consider black holes as a feature of space with a Planck-length diameter, as opposed to a traditional object. So if we can't see what a black hole looks like from the inside, why can't we see it from the outside? Aside from the fact that light exiting a black hole is red shifted into oblivion, the ultimate crunch of the black hole never really happened. From an outside observer, time is frozen at the event horizon relative to their clocks. Anything beyond the event horizon is no longer a part of the timeline of the outside universe. Nothing occurs beyond the event horizon. So this is the best look at what the inside of a black hole looks like. The truth is, from the outside, the singularity never occurs. And from the inside, the singularity does not possess any meaningful properties or characteristics to a human observer beyond its size. Although there is no meaningful answer to what the inside of a black hole looks like. Every year, space agencies around the world are discovering new and interesting features of the universe and answering our questions in more detail.